Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Sunday. How was the first night in the Airbnb? It was all right. <laughs> <laughs> this is an all right Airbnb. It is all right. It will suffice yes. for 13 It'll days. Fit yes, good way of putting it. But James and I are going to go to Goodbye. the grocery store. And Sarah's going to edit, and then we're going to go play at Hollywood Studios later. Ready to go shopping? I think so. All right, so Publix got 80% of it, but not enough for us to not go to Publix. So we're gonna load up the car, put James back in the car seat, and head on over to Publix. Luckily, this is Aldi. Publix is just across the street. So literally just need to cross the street and uh, unpack the baby. Hey! He's only been in a, in a stroller, not stroller. He's only been in a cart a few times. Jamesy, do you love it? Yeah, yeah. The perks of coming shopping with Dad, we're gonna get some fun stuff. Well, I mean, a toothbrush is fun when you're nine months old, but we also got you a new straw cup and maybe we'll get a treat or something. How about it? We found a drain stopper because our Airbnb doesn't have one. And we like to hand wash our dishes a lot of times. We have completed our Publix trip and our Aldi trip and James got a Toy Story balloon. Approximately three and a half minutes after getting in our car, that this is how close our Airbnb is, is on Avalon Road, which is just like the west. And this is like the not as famous main gate of Disney World. This is the western gate coming in just north of Animal Kingdom by Coronado Springs. Walt Disney's airplane is actually parked backstage a little bit over there, covered by tarps, but we are officially in Disney World. Have a good day. Who remembers when this was a shop that had a whole bunch of like movie props and autographs and all that sort of stuff? This was this was my favorite shop here. So comment below if you remember that. Okay, let's see. If, let's see if this works. Looks like we can still join the virtual queue. Yep. For Rise of the Resistance today. 126. Can you believe it? Just got a boarding pass at 2:30. That on a weekend. That is the like true testament of how low the crowds are. Wow. We're gonna get some fall Starbucks, and it's a day of shows, even though our baby's like half asleep. Right, but those, those will start in a little bit, so maybe we'll ride or swap some things before, or just sit around. I wanna do a rock and roller coaster featuring Lady Gaga. Peter got a pumpkin spice latte. Iced. I made this up. And I'm sure other people have done it before, but it was like $8. And it is a venti caramel frappuccino with two pumps of pumpkin and a shot of espresso. Wow, all right. Ooh. Ooh. That ride is so good. I'm a Jamesy boy now, and he, I guess, is still fighting asleep. He's only slept like 20 minutes. What are you guys still doing here? You're supposed to be at his show. Now. We're getting some AC in, in the shop before we head into Beauty and the Beast. And I'm not gonna lie, some of these shirts are straight up my alley. I dig this to all who come to this happy place. That Mickey, old design. Classic, love it. And like everything over here, I love right here. I love the Forky, I love the Photograph one. I feel like those came out during my college program for the first time. That is probably my all time favorite on this wall. Very 90s. Me too. Oh. Yes, that was one of my you ready for Beauty and the Beast? Do you see that? It's your first time watching this. One day, James is going to work for the engineering department here <laughs> and be maintenance. 
You are just like your mama with those red cheeks. Oh. Thanks. Thanks. Jamesy, did you love Boone the Beast or what? He was a little bit more intrigued in the Bugaboo bag <laughs> and playing zipper. with that. And He's the been zipper. loving zippers lately. But he did. And he loves a good stanchion. He, I felt like he liked Gaston a lot. Yeah, he liked the like booming sound. Yeah. The thunder. So. Yeah. I think he liked the finale too. Yeah. But overall. Overall, he did a really great job. I don't know if you could tell, like, it's definitely the different choreography, six feet apart. Yeah. All that good stuff. Yeah. If you never it, saw the show before, you wouldn't have known. Yeah, it was great. All right, we're going in here. One for AC. <laughs> Two for Walt. James was very much so asleep our last visit here. And three for the Monsters, Inc. experience. That's four. Wait, that was three. <laughs> That's how we all feel right now. He did the same thing when we were here the last time. Like, I think he really needs to stay there. At the Galactic Star Cruiser? Yeah. And this is closed. I wonder if it closes at a certain time. We're gonna stay there sometime. Mm. Aboard that ship. He hasn't watched Star Wars yet. Maybe we should have him watch it. Maybe he'll be into it. I would say this is one of our favorite things the in Disney World. Mmm. What's one of our favorite things in Disney World? This whole thing. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> well, we were then. looking at the couple that when we were like. 18? No, we were about 20. What? We drove to Marceline and hung an entire weekend out in Marceline, Missouri. Yeah. Walked to Boyhood Town, went to the family yeah. farm, went to the like, Chamber of Commerce meeting. Yeah. We met the woman who lives in Walt's house. Yeah. Okay, Sarah ran out and saw us earlier, but we realized James hasn't seen it. And he's still awake. So we're coming on over. Then we're going to dip on over to Playhouse Disney. Ooh, I never saw her car before. This is the first for all of us. It smells like Halloween the really? There must this be some awesome. sort of smoke or something. Yeah, this is Halloween Corner. It's hilarious because of what it is. I think James was just clapping at this Disney Junior sign. 
We're trying to game plan dinner because we actually only have 90 minutes left until our Star Wars yeah, Rise of Resistance. Group, which we kind of forgot about. We're like, should we just go to Crescent Lake? And it's like, this oh. might be our only shot. Right. So then we're going to try to check out the commissary. Which I don't think we haven't had that in a long time. I think we've only had it once in the past like four years. Yeah. What do you see up there? Now we're all set. Walking over now. It's going to be delicious, air conditioned, and hopefully James will take a nap. We came to the commissary. Ooh, someone already started. I did start. I was <laughs> so hungry. They have fill your own beverages over there, which is something we did not know. That's how little we come here. Peter got a little farro and arugula salad with a California burger, California burger, which is plant based. Yep. And then I got a buffalo chicken grilled cheese and fries. Just a heads up, so James is having a bottle trying to take a nap, but heads up, they almost didn't let us bring the stroller in because they're just like, like I don't know if it's a consistent rule or not, but then when we mentioned, we, we were gonna eat outside then because we really want James to take a little nap. And when we mentioned that, and it's like, oh, as long as it's a justifiable reason to have it because of space, then we'll let you. So they actually let us in with the stroller since he's gonna try to take a nap here. How was the, the chick, buffalo chicken grilled cheese? When me and Peter first got married, I was just like, it was the first time I like cooked. And it tastes like something like I would have like concocted when I was just like cooking anything and everything yeah. I could come up with when we first got married. Delicious? Really good. I don't know if you can actually see him, but our plan worked. He is asleep in there. We are 30 minutes away from our, our rise of resistance group. Yes. So many years, like, we came in at 2.30 on the weekend. Yeah. And we got a boy for like two hours later. Right. And so we, it, it is a 20 minute like ride experience. So it is going to take up like the next hour of our time, but it's perfect with him napping. And then we'll make the call if we're going to stay for the nighttime show or not. Yeah. Peter's going to run at Crescent Lake. I almost wonder if like, I should go run and you guys stay for the show and you lose back up. Hold on. Yeah. So I don't know if Sarah's filming this on the camera or not in line or not, but we found out just now we the realization that we've been doing Rise of Resistance wrong ever since James has been born. Okay, so what is really cool that we did not do in the past is that because we both have boarding groups, we can still do child swaps. So before, we just one went and then the other. Whereas this time we scan both, and that way Peter will not have to wait in the queue the way I will. Only one has to wait in the queue. So even though when your boarding group is called, it's time for you to go, sometimes it can still be 30 minute wait, sometimes it can be a walk on, but it all depends on how busy it is. So this way, whatever the wait may be, only one person has to wait. So that's something new we learned today. I'm going on, Peter's waiting, and then it won't take up as much time. Incoming transmission from Ray. BB-8, is everyone assembled? Good. Should you be a truck crap? It is vital that you keep the location of the car away secret. Welcome to the cause. May the force be with us. Roger, this is Black Leader. I hear you're a fine looking group of recruits. Well, no time to waste. Let's get you on your way to the general. Okay. We're clear for launch. Hit the hyperdrive also. Transport takeoff in 20 seconds. We company, first order TIE fighters. We are They'll want the location of our secret base. Tell them nothing. The ship is now under the command of the first order. All of you down the ramp and to the right. Get out. <laughs> Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. Take this corridor to the turbo lift, then head down to the escape pod base. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. What the? Oh, 
and ultimately hopeless. There's no way not to run. Recruits, thanks to your heroism, the location of the resistance base is secure. Someone's being naughty, and it's not had a good nap all day. Um, we're gonna try to find somewhere cool to hang out while we're waiting for Sarah. I just overheard some guests because I've seen a lot of people dressed up and a lot of people with the lightsabers here tonight, even in Galaxy, like outside of Galaxy's Edge, even. And apparently, there's a lightsaber meetup happening tonight at 8 30, so that'll be kind of a cool photo op. But I don't know if we're gonna be here that late. What? James is going to be a landscape architect one day. He's just feeling the facade. He's being one with Batu. He's on this box. Whoa. Nice. It's a nice box. Hi, baby. He likes touching all the doodads inside like the little outside hall, like shops. Say, see you soon, daddy. Sarah just came out. That's the normal standby. I just came in through. I don't think they'll ever have fast pass for this, but if there is ever, or I, maybe this will be what Lightning Lane is part of. But if you have Child Swap, if you've got um, the DAS card, you would come this way, I believe. And then I should go right to where the hologram is. So they scan my magic band so that I can come back when it rides back up and they'll let me go back. But I don't know if that would then get me back to the standard queue. And I have to wait in there, but not in like, not jump right to where the Ray merger is or not. I also don't know if it's gonna come back up and it's already like 7.30, 7.40. We weren't sure if we were planning this one that the evening here. Anyway, I have to go on a run because Chicago Marathon is at a critical point where it's only five weeks away, four weeks away. So the plan was for me to go run at Crescent Lake. And so I think I might just be called and say, I won't get to go on Rise today. And we'll go figure out our plans from here. Say bye, Dad. There's Peter up there running. You might hear Goofy Movie playing um, by just getting James settled. I did want to say that we will have an update on our virtual 5K and our ACS fundraiser soon. Not in a vlog like today where it's like jam packed with other stuff, but soon. Jamesy is fighting, falling asleep. So we're putting our feet in the pool. Are you naughty or nice? <laughs> it's a casual little Epcot forever ditty on our walk back. I'm back. He's back. Sarah gave me the great idea to jump in the water. Mm -hmm. Before I changed into my street clothes. I still have to take a shot when I get home. Yeah. But my gone. feet are yeah. aching. <laughs> Sarah's feet have grown. I swear, I think they did after I had the babe. Stuff like that I feel like happens. So Yeah. We just have to get you uh new shoes or we'll have to cut open the toes so they can hang out. <laughs> the air conditioning in here is so cold. We're watching New World because we always say we're gonna watch a movie and then we just watch New World. I, mean, um, I don't see anything wrong with that. And we also didn't do anything we said we were gonna do. Like edit. Like the dishes? <laughs> Get ready for the Anyway. It was a day. It was an awesome day. It was. Look at my hair. Look at my hair. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.